how do you win? You win by the traditional monikers of success. You win by how many zeros are at the end of your paycheck. I remember I was sitting, you know, in a Barnes and Nobles, and I was deciding what major I would study, and all I was doing was leafing through this book. It was a book that showed degree versus earning potential over time, and that's when I zeroed in on finance and accounting. My entire life became about uh, winning with a capital W. My entire life became about being the guy that would be respected. I had a series of vertical leaps through my 20s, which landed me to this place in 2008. I'm making a ridiculous six-figure salary. I've got a corner office. And on December 31st, 2007, my boss calls me into his office, and he tells me that I'm getting a promotion. And this was it. This was the game changer. This was me being a junior partner in this firm. And everything that I had ever worked for um, was going to be handed to me right then and there. You know, in, in banking terms, I was minted. And, and I remember just hearing this man say that, and it was just a really bizarre kind of um, ethereal moment where I was like watching this happen, you know, it was almost, and I walked out of his office and I, and I walked back into my own and, and I just closed the door behind me and I just started weeping because um, I realized that I was completely and utterly trapped and that I would never be able to walk away from that amount of money ever in my life. And any dream that I had of living a life of purpose and meaning and, and, and being an adventurer and somebody that would actually take risks and, and live a life that's deliberate and intentional, those were gone. When you see your life scripted out and you recognize that this is not, this is not anything I want, why am I doing this? This guy that's handing me this, prom I don't want to be him. I don't envy his life. You know, maybe this was never for me to begin with, and maybe if I don't leave right now, I'm gonna be that dude for the rest of my life. And I just took the elevator down 28 stories, and, and that was it. And ever since then, I decided that this life was gonna be mine, and it was gonna be wildly, flamboyantly my life, yes. you know?